the police department please accept this so that way you can begin the, the healing process and you can always look at it and know that justice will serve. It took a Kern County jury less than 30 minutes to find Jose William Lara guilty in the death of Desiree Thompson. Lara buried Thompson's body in the backyard of a Cal City home he was renting. Jose William Lara, convicted in May of first degree murder of Desiree Thompson, was in court for sentencing on Friday, June 16, 2023. Judge Michael G. Bush sentenced Lara to 25 years to life in prison for Thompson's disappearance and death in 2012. In a case that had been considered cold until last year, two informants reported that Lara had confessed to unaliving Thompson. This information helped law enforcement obtain a warrant to search Lara's backyard where they found Thompson's body. A forensic investigation determined Lara unalived her. It took a jury less than an hour to find Lara guilty. Thompson's mother, Cherie Smith, says she's grateful for the justice her family is seeing for her daughter. This is a blessing. This man will go away. He'll rot the rest of his life and not be able to hurt anybody else. And that's the whole point of getting this justice for her, as well as justice for other people, that this man can't go out there and hurt anybody else. This is a very evil man. And it's bittersweet because I don't have my daughter here. I can't hug my daughter anymore. I can't tell her I love her. She can't be with her children, which is very important to them. Smith went on to say she and her family remember and honor Desiree every day. And Smith believes her daughter is with her now. Smith says she will not stop helping other people go through situations similar to what she's gone through. At the sentencing hearing, Judge Bush explained how he came to his decision. He was engaged in violent conduct, which indicates a serious danger to society under B1. He's obviously not a candidate for probation. And with that, probation is denied, Judge Bush said. The judge also ruled that Laurel has to pay restitution to the Thompson's family, the amount of which will be determined at a later date. The case remained unsolved until Thompson's remains were discovered last year. 61-year-old Lara was arrested after a man and his father came forward and told police he had bragged about killing a woman years ago. Chief Hightower says the department never stopped looking for Desiree and her killer. This right here means everything. I can't bring my daughter back, but this will go right up there next to her. And um, this shows that never to give up. Don't give up hope. Don't give up faith. Um, God answered all my prayers in one day. Jose Lara was sentenced earlier this month to 25 years to life in prison. Stay tuned to MTGV Crime Podcast as we interview with Cherie Smith, the mother of Desiree Thompson.